very first of all, we, we play a lot of own stuff. Like I think at Ultra we played like eight or nine of our own tracks. We released a lot of stuff over the last year. And to us it's important, when we're in the studio, we go crazy. So it, it would be really bad to be on stage like, oh, we have this new song. Oh. You know, we want to go crazy every time because we want to bring that energy to the crowd because we make music because we love it and we want to translate it on stage to, and, and it works and people just feel it and we're zoning out to get like for yeah, now like crazy. Yeah, it, it's, it's amazing. It's a, this, the whole thing is, it's a big gathering and like sometimes the stage is far away from the crowd and you feel this distance and no matter where we are, we always try to bring the crowd towards us and just to make it one big family, uh, happening, one big family. And uh, I think we have this natural energy inside of us that we have all, all as well in the studio and we just, yeah. we just bring it on. And then nine out of 10 times it works. Like Ultra was insane, like today. Uh, it's been on the radio since 91. So when we were all were really young kids, we, we listened to it. We, everybody in Holland knows the same songs. It was already like EDM, housey, a little harder techno. So it was really normal and we were used to it instead of just pop or rock. The other thing is like the level of, of music production in Holland is so high, everybody wants to keep up with it. So we're all improving and we're all learning from each other. And, I and think the weather is not that good and in it's LA. so boring, you know, it's not like sunny every, every day. So when you finish school, you go up to the attic and make some beats. That's how it starts. Um, first of all, we love to build our own platform to represent ourselves, but also to make a, a platform for other producers to, um, because we drop Showtech songs as well, like big club tracks on Skink Records, but we also love to pull other artists and other producers to show that what EDM stands for is not only like the big bang and tunes, we have a re very uh, big variety of music we love. So we hope to also pull another, other producers and talents who can grow on our label and, and offer a platform for them. And with a label, you can tell a whole story instead of just a few yeah. tracks, you can, oh, I think within three or four years, you can really see what we're capable of and what we like, not just four and four, maybe some weird lot of stuff later. And the skink stands for this little like a reptile back to my ancient history, right? And it survives every few years. It, it just changes and it just keeps surviving. And the same as music, it keeps evolving and it just keeps changing to the environment. So music is a growing thing. It's a timeless label. Timeless label, that's it. Okay, there's one thing I want to say is like, yeah. we had the melody and then I, I changed two keys and I was like, okay, wait up. You're gonna f go crazy now. And we were in a tier like, Wah! you know, like this. And if you have that moment and you play it for the first time and everybody's like, ah, for the first time as well, that you can just, you cannot wait to, to drop it. And it's getting bigger every show. It's amazing. and. Okay, we have so you can, many you can never You can never predict the, like the future, but we had this gut feeling like this might be big, you know? <laughs> David was the first guy playing Booyah. First guy And it's so funny, we, were, we met, he booked us because he loved our other stuff. He booked us in the Pasha and Abitha. We went to his house, had dinner with his kids and his family. We really bonded. And then we're like, I used to, let's go to the studio. And we're like, okay, we, David, we've got this new song. And we put Booyah on, he was like, Oh my God! He oh. was like freaking out. He like fell off he his fell chair. off his chair. Like he fell off guys, his chair. this is crazy. And then we played some more stuff, and he said, "Like, let's work together." So we worked together, and uh, yeah, he came up with this lyric thing with Vessi, the girl who did the vocals, like bad. And we we're like, "Wow, this is so hooky!" And then we made the whole production, uh, like the, the drop parts to it, and it just worked together very well. And it even went up top 40 in England today, and, and in Holland, and. It's going crazy now. But I really want to mention that David is a great guy to work with. Like, of course, he's, for a lot of people, he's this big ass DJ, like who's been there for 10 years, but he's a guy with 20, 20 years, but he's a guy with character. He's a guy with knowledge. To work with him was really a pleasure. Besides that we became really close friends, to work with him was really an honor because what he brings to the industry yeah. is insane. And we still and work together. And we still work together, yeah. In LA and we go into the studio. It's we even speak French with him because we talk French too and it's really funny how we work together. So we have a real connection, it's funny. I love Empire the Sun or Licky Lee or... I, 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 That's I, more singers, yeah. Like singer-wise, that would be great. I want to see Lana Del Rey tonight as well. But uh, we love Calvin Harris too. Calvin Harris, great. Yeah. Man, there's so many talented, Major and amazing producers in the world and singers. Major Lazer would be cool. We were we were, we were also already worked last year on a track. We never finished it, but I think that would be something for next year to yeah. finish. I'm a big youth of Wu Tang fan, like Tupac as well, Dre, Snoop, all that stuff. I was only hip hop in the 90s. 
Yeah. Uh, and also Michael Jackson, but it was more like late 80s when I discovered that stuff. I even loved Gabber when I was really young. <laughs> I he, loved he liked everything. <laughs> I like to go like hard, but I like I, I, I like everything, and that's still, I think the cool thing of being showed that, that we we also try to put different influences in music. For example, Buya, the breakdown is is, is the drum and bass, the vocal sounds reggae, the drop is big room EDM, and that's how we all all everything we listen to in the in the. We past. don't like one genre. So no, I, we love I like everything. anything. Actually, the, the next song might be with Licky Lee, and it might be something totally different, uh, uh, to, to, totally different. But I think it's cool. I think you should. We also always try to create a certain shock value to people. Like Buya was like, "What's this?" You know, and that's that's the main thing we try to reach. Like, "What's this?" And um, it works for us. Yeah.